Welcome to Wacker Newson product training. In this video, we will show you how to properly operate our equipment. First things first, it is important to wear the obligatory personal protective equipment for this machine at all times. This is for your own safety. This includes safety shoes with integrated steel toe caps to protect your feet and ear protection. A hard hat provides protection from falling objects on the construction site. Appropriate protective gloves prevent injuries to the hands. Safety glasses help prevent injury from flying particulate. Wearing a safety vest on the job site will keep you highly visible at all times. Before starting the vibratory plate, move the drawbar into the correct position. By turning the star knob, you can set the drawbar height to a comfortable working position for you. The drawbar kick locking detaches the drawbar from the transport position. Now you can open the protective hood. Press the on and off switch. To start, press the switch for vibration and then the black knob with the start symbol. This will engage the warm-up phase. Depending on ambient temperature, this may take several minutes. As soon as the vibratory plate reverses to stand rotation, start the vibration by pulling out the black knob with the vibration symbol. You can control the speed and travel direction with a control handle. Simply tilt forward to drive forward and pull backward for reverse drive. When space is limited, such as when maneuvering, for example, under sheeting and bracings, press the star knob to lower the drawbar. Pull the drawbar up and it will return to its individually set working height. To switch the vibratory plate off temporarily, press the black knob on the operating panel of the drawbar. Now the vibratory plate is in standby mode. To completely switch off the machine, please open the protective hood and press the on-off switch. As soon as the indicator lights go off, the machine is completely switched off. After 15 minutes in standby mode, the machine will automatically shut down. If you let go of the control handle during operation, the handle automatically moves to neutral position and the machine into standing vibration. The emergency stop switch is used solely to switch off the machine in the case of danger. Activating it results in the machine immediately switching off. Operation can only be resumed after unlocking the emergency stop switch. During transport, the drawbar must be locked in a vertical position. Alternatively, you can operate the remote-controlled models using the remote control. The red knob activates the remote control. The vibratory plate is started by pressing the starter button. Use the joystick to steer forward, backward, right, and left. If the infrared connection between the remote control and the vibratory plate is broken, the vibratory plate will switch to standing vibration. This will also occur when you come too close to the vibratory plate. Keep a minimum distance of two meters from the machine. You will find detailed information on the use of this machine in the operator's manual. For questions on this equipment, please speak to your Wacker Newson contact. They will be happy to help. Further product information can be found at www.wackernewson.com.